CataractCoach.com skill level after 2,000 surgeries. This video shows what's possible with dedication drive. Our guest surgeon here is Dr. Ricardo Cabrera from Mexico, a very talented surgeon. So you can see here making both incisions at the same time. There's the keratome and here's the side port. Surgeon sitting superiorly and you made the two incisions about 180 apart. Here's an extra paracentesis for the bimanual IA presumably. Now, question is, do you need to use a fixation ring like I do, or forceps to hold the eye, or brace it with a Q-tip or some other? You can do whatever you like. In this case, the surgeon is using two instruments at the same time to make those incisions. You can also have the patient forcefully you know, look at the light and maintain that fixation, which also gives you some counter-traction. A lot of advanced surgeons are doing this way. You've seen Dr. Neto Rossitelli from Brazil, who typically does that same technique of two incisions simultaneously. Now the inviscoelastic cannula in the left hand through the paradis is holding the eye in position, while the right hand using the forceps, again, to do a very nice capsulorexis. Tripen blue dye was used. You can see those forceps are marked off at two and a half and five millimeters. So that's just about a perfect five millimeter axis. Releasing a little viscoelastic and now some hydrodissection being performed. And you can see this is a very efficient surgery, not about speed, but efficiency, very, very efficient with no wasted movements, no wasted steps. So like, think about that, even the viscoelastic cannula after injecting the AC is being used to just hold the eye as the forceps do the rectus. And again, no cystotome needed. Now going in here with the FACO probe, and here comes a chopper. And let's see the technique. Probably gonna be a quick chop. Now this is an unedited video, about four and a half minutes, so the surgeon's obviously very um, adept and very efficient at doing surgery. This is that Rossitelli style hydrodissection and then rotation over and over again. Um, that certainly can help to loosen up any attachments. Here's the horizontal chop, two halves created, rotating it again. Another horizontal chop. And then let's see, rotating it again. Boom, just like that, four quadrants. You're two minutes into the surgery and you already have four quadrants created. So obviously it's super efficient. And now removing the quadrants is very easy. Quadrants are removed, and another little sub chop if you need to. You already have half the nucleus out of the eye. Rotating it. Look at the simple things, too. Look at the good draping, how the eye stays in primary the whole time. The surgeon is in total control of this case, and the surgeon is very relaxed. Now, for epinuclear removal, mostly vacuum, barely, if any, phaco energy. And again, freeing up that whole epinuclear shell to aspirate it out pretty efficiently from the eye. Now, despite all that rotation, there's still significant cortex. That's easily removed with a um, bimanual irrigation aspiration. And this is the time where you have your technician loading up the lens. So the technician can load the lens for you after switching over to the irrigation aspiration. Here's the bimanual IA hand pieces. Again, infusion in the left hand, uh, right hand, aspirator here on the left hand. And you can see very efficiently accessing the full 360 of the capture bag then of course these hands can be switched. Interesting, look how efficient this is. Infusion in the right hand now, correct? And now for the second half, switching hands, infusion's gonna go for the left hand. Why is this important? Watch this, when the cortex is removed, he's gonna use hydro implantation. That left hand stays in the eye, infusing the outbound salt solution. This is the hydro implantation, no need for extra viscoelastic. Keep infusing the eye with that, while the other hand injects the eye well into the capsule bag. So here comes a lens, nicely um, directed into the capsule bag, and now you can make sure it gets completely unfolded. And now, to help position it, place the chopper in the side port, get that lens positioned. Again, you still are infusing the eye and inflating it with that left hand with the bimanual infuser. And that looks good, that's the irrigator. And now you're done, you can seal up the incisions here, lens in good position, beautiful overlap, Really nice case. Now, if you're learning cataract surgery, do not be intimidated by this. Rather, be inspired. Hard work and dedication pays off. You have the drive and determination. You're watching cataract coach videos for a reason, because you want to be a better surgeon. And I promise you, with time and hard work, you can certainly achieve this. So this is a great idea of what you can do by Case 2000. Thanks for watching.